Hi, in this particular tutorial we're going to talk about accessing data from the national map. We had talking before about North Carolina One Map, which is going to be local to North Carolina and maybe some of the surrounding areas where we want to get GIS data germane to the state. The national map is another comprehensive data source. To me, the national map kind of differs a little bit from the national atlas because national atlas includes a lot of, of physical and social related data. To me, the national map I use it mainly to look at natural resource data such as land use land cover, national land cover data set, and it has some other good data sets too. We can get topo quads or whatnot. But we can access the national map through going to www.nationalmap.gov and it takes you to something like this. And we're going to look at the geospatial portal that we can download data from. You need to make your own maps using hundreds of authoritative themes to preview and download data that is available in the public domain and more experienced map makers and professional GIS users should try the National Map Viewer. And this is where I'm going to go to right here. I'm going to click on this. And it has a little explanation of what we have. We have elevation, ortho imagery, hydrography, geographic names, boundaries, transportation structures, and land cover and include some historic topo maps too. Um, it may include other things such as wetlands, PLS, PLSS, gap analysis, but or natural, uh, natural hazards, but these are all of the ones that it will include. I'm going to click here to go to our platform. And we're going to see a map here that we've seen before in Google Earth or whatever. I believe it's thinking right now. Here it is. It's loading right here. And this is going to be pretty easy to do. Okay, and you can see the, do, the topo availability that I have here. I got 7.5 minute quads, geographic names. We've got land cover right here, where I have the NLCD 1992, 2001, 2006. I've worked on this with a couple of students, where, we're, where, where we look to see what the land cover changes between these dates. And this National Land Cover Database is derived from Landsat data. And Landsat is some of the data that we probably talked about in the remote sensing course. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to zoom into my, I can click, I have zoom in tools, I have zoom out tools. You can see this looks like a rudimentary GIS. And I'm going to go over here to Durham, right? Go over here to Durham. And I'm going to just look at some of the national land cover data set that we have locally. As you can imagine, national land cover, um, our topo quads, our imagery, these are going to be raster data which are going to be extremely large. Okay. So when I'm set here and I see an area of data that I want to download, I'm going to click on my land cover data right here and it's going to show me my land cover. Okay. And this is what our land cover data actually looks like. And here you can see what it looks like for 2006, and actually the 2011 land cover data is being added in March of 2014. I'm going to uncheck my land cover here, see what it looks like. Okay. And I'm going to click on download data. And we can click here to draw a box and bounding, uh, download by bounding box, or we can choose a reference area, then click on the map. So we have these 24, uh, these 7.5 minute topo quads, where we can download to the current map extent or download by uh, coordinate point. Well, I'm going to click a bounding box right here. I'm just going to look at the area right around Central Campus. And it asks me, and this gives me my current extent. Here's my upper left and my bottom right right here. And I'm going to click. I can. I'm going to click on land cover. Next, and ask me which land cover that we have. We have the canopy, impervious surface percentage. Uh, I'm going to just click on the land cover for 2006. It's best available. It tells me that it's at 30 meters. The type is staged and it's a geotip. So that's a tip image that has, has geographic coordinates to it. I'm going to click next. And it's adding my selected products to the car. So you could have seen all the different data sets that I could have downloaded for this particular area here. And in the future, the National Atlas is going to integrate election data and uh, it's going to integrate uh, election data and um, bat habitats and other things that it has in their database into it.
I'm going to click check out here and I'm just going to send it to here. So we've received your request. A request, uh, please check your email for detail orders. And I'm going to go to my email. Hopefully there's something sitting there that tells me I can download it. I've got something from the national map. This is land cover, and this tells me national land cover one of two, meaning this is I have two different images that it gave me. So it tells me how it was extracted, the geo tiff, and this is the order that I placed. So as you can imagine, it had to break this up in just this tiny little section into two images. So you can imagine how big it gets really uh, quickly. I'm going to click here to download. And we're going to download it and extract it the same way we did before. I'm going to save it in my temp. It's called NLCD 2006 version 1. And you can see it's downloading here the percentage. I'm just going to download this first section here. We can do this for imagery also. And, and this has a few more advantages than imagery that we have for the North Carolina One Map. For the North Carolina One Map, you can see that we can't export it out. I haven't seen any easy ways to export it out when we connect to it in a service. Now in the geospatial portal, I can go download it on a county-by-county -county basis, their, their latest and greatest that they have. But for the entire state, if I were to click on the latest, it's going to be difficult for me to export to that export that to a server because it's an extremely large database. So now I can crop out the sections of imagery that I want and run a mask or whatever I'm going to do right here. So these have some advantages here, but they have some disadvantages here too. Now what I'm doing here is just downloading my GeoTIFF to my temp drive into a zip file and all I'm going to do is just extract it and add it to my working GIS database. You'll notice here that the projections that we have for these data aren't going to be unique to North Carolina. The previous uh, previous data that we saw before was uh, state plane meters or state plane feet or maybe we'll work with geographic coordinates. Here we're going to work in, be working with a nationwide um, projection called uh, uh, North American Albert Equal Area. So let's see, I'm going to click on this here. Let me go to my temp and I'm going to unzip it. And here it is here. Right here. This is the compressed file. I can look at the date. And I'm going to extract all files. So you can see the I have a shape file attached to this, and then I have an image attached to this here in the GeoTIF. And you can see some of these images, TIF world file, these are all the this is all the information attached to it that tells me you know how we can have, how we can georectify. So I'm going to extract it here, and I'll see and I'm going to create a brand new folder for this. And it's going to extract out to be 130 megs. So that for this relatively tiny image area, 130 meg image. So we need to be prudent about our space and our processing time requirements. And here it is. And you can see the folder here. And now let's see how it looks on top of my existing data here. You can see this is the data that I extracted from North Carolina One Map. I'm going to add it. This GeoTIF image. I'm going to go up to temp. Here it is right here. And then I've got a TIFF or a JPEG right here. You can see the indices that I have. I'm going to add this. Now ask me if I want to build pyramids. Typically pyramids are just a way so that we can save or optimize the amount of time that we don't that we need to open it. I'm just going to click yes. And this is going to be the land cover data that I downloaded from National Map. It should be in this particular area right here. I think it was just north of downtown and around the central campus area. Here it is. And this was the first one right here. Okay. And you notice the second one I had was right down um, on this second part of campus right here.
So you can see this area that I downloaded, and it stores it in different sections right here. So you can see it goes all the way up to the Virginia border, all the way down here. So now we can run our masks and merges and all those operations that we've talked about in Raster GIS class or in our, uh, our Raster GIS class. So look at this. So you can see you know, the road that goes through. You can see some wetlands that come through. And we can refer to the Anderson classification scheme to see what the 1, 10, 11, 21, 22, 23, 24, those are your intensity, our 41, 42, and 43. Refer to our refer to our um, forced. And this is about 20 different classifications, 16 to 20 classifications using our Anderson classification scheme. So as you can see here, National Map is a great way that we can extract GIS data, create GIS data, and upload it to our service, you know, to our uh, servers, and eventually serve these out.